Hello friends, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw the other groupings which are possible in case of pivot table. Now in this video, we'll be taking another interesting topic in pivot table that is how to create the calculated fields and how to create the calculated items. So let us see two topics in this video. Now before I show you the practical part of creating the calculated field and the calculated item, so let us understand what do you really mean by calculated fields and what is the definition of calculated items. So the calculated field, it says here that a calculated field is a new field added to your pivot table that performs a calculation on the entire data set that is across different records or rows in the source data. So let's say I'm having two columns that we'll also see practically. And then if I want to use those two columns, to create another column which is not currently available in our pivot table so here we can create a pivot table calculated field the purpose is to create a new value based on the existing fields in your data source so here we are having the key points that it operates on the entire record in the data source so suppose if you are having let's say 1000 record then whatever that calculated field which i create it will be calculating the value for each of the record for all the 1000 record the formula uses field names, let's say field one plus field two. It's like adding a new column to your data set before it is aggregated. So as I said earlier that it is creating a totally a new column and that column we can use it in our pivot table. It affects all items in the field. And here we are having one example, let's say sales minus cost. So this is known as calculated field. Let us see first of all the example of calculated field. So I'm going to my pivot table here. And now let me remove this pivot table. So I will go for this clear, clear all. Now in this pivot table, I'll be creating here, let's say I take here the subcategory in the row section, and then I take here the sales in the value section. Pivot table is ready. Now what I want to do, I want to create here a new calculated field. So we are already having the sales and the quantity and now what I want to do that I want to calculate the price for each of the subcategory. That what is in general the price of the products which are coming under the subcategory. So what we'll do that price will be equal to sales divided by the quantity. So here I want to create another column or another calculated field which is known as the price and price is equal to sales divided by quantity. Here we can select any one cell within the pivot table. Then I will go to this button here in the pivot table analyze tab known as fields, items and sets. So I click this button and here now we are having the calculated field. So I click on the calculated field and now this dialog box comes over here insert calculated field and now in the name I have to write down here name that is price which is the name for my new calculated field and here now I can put the formula so price is equal to sales I can double click here sales divided by quantity so I double click here quantity so price is equal to sales divided by quantity and now I will click on this add button and now I click here ok button so as soon as I click the ok button now I'm having the new column which is known as price definitely here in the pivot table it will be showing you some of price this is the price for each of the subcategory definitely here we are having lot of decimal places so I can select one of the cell here right click go for here number format and in the number format I go for number and I keep it here two decimal places click on OK button and now we are having here the individual price so price is now here our new calculated field so this is what we mean by the calculated field in the pivot table now the next topic is about the calculated items so first of all let us see that what do you mean by calculated item a calculated item is a new item within an existing field that performs a calculation between items in that field to calculate relationship between different items in the same field so we are not creating here a new column we are just playing with the same field that we are using in the pivot table and we are trying to do some calculations with the different items which are available in that particular field so let me give an example here that let's say here we'll see in the example that we are having a region column in the region column we are having suppose central region western region eastern region and southern region now i want to know the total of the sales for the western region and the central region so i want to club the sales of both these regions so for that purpose we'll be going for the concept known as calculated field because i'm not creating a new column here i'm just playing with the items which are available in my region field and then i want to do some calculation i want to add i want to subtract so that is what we mean by the calculated items it operates within a single field 
example between categories and not rows the formula uses item names as i give the example that is north plus south it's like adding a new category inside the pivot table not in the source data so source data will not change it will be like that only but within the pivot table we are creating a new category here it works only on visible items in the pivot table that whatever you see in the pivot table within that only we can play with the calculated items yeah and this is another example east plus west if i want to add the sales of both these regions so now let us see in our example that here let me now remove this sum of price i'll keep it here sum of sales and now in the column section we'll be dragging here the region so i drag here the region i put it in the columns so here we are having the four regions central east south and west now what i want to do that i want to add the sales or sum of sales for central and east and then south and west so central and east i want to club together the sum of sales and then i also want to club the sum of sales for the south and west so i can select one of the region here let's say central i go to the pivot table analyze tab in the pivot table analyze tab i click this button again field items and sets and now i click this option calculated item and now here i can write down let's say group one or any name you can give here and now group one is equal to what equal to central plus east so i double click here central plus and now i click here east so group one is equal to central plus east i want to combine the sales of these two regions so central plus east group one i click on add and now i click on ok button so now you can see that we are having this group one which is the total of this central plus east now similarly i can also create here another calculated item so i select here one of the cell go to the fields items and sets i click here calculated item and now i write down here group two group two is equal to what group two is equal to south plus west so equal to south plus west so group two is equal to south plus west i click on add button and now i click on ok button and now we are having the group two so remember here that we are not creating any separate column in our pivot table because as we have seen that earlier we created this uh, new calculated field known as price but when we are creating here the calculated item then calculated item is not creating here any kind of column or a field it is just doing some calculation within the pivot table and once i remove this pivot table then the calculated item is also gone so this is what we mean by the calculated item now in the next video we'll be seeing here one of these another very important option in the fields items and set that is known as how to create a set so we'll see that how to create the set based on the row items based on the column items and how to manage the set so this is a very very interesting topic so please stay tuned to this next video so thank you very much again and see you in the next video